Hey guys, welcome to the channel! Whenever you want to mint an NFT, send ERC20 tokens to another wallet or buy some assets, you have to pay fees. This can be a pain in the neck because Ethereum commission is now around $50 in the best case and exceed $100 in peak time. But what if I tell you there is an opportunity to pay less? In this video, I will explain how Ethereum fees work and show you how to cut down on commissions. But before we start, let's destroy the YouTube algorithm so that as many people as possible can see this video. Smash the like, smash the subscribe and hit the bell icon. Fuel comes in different forms. It could be the cup of tea or the cup of coffee we drink before we start our day, the morning workout to release endorphins or, well, the gas that makes a car go room. And just like how humans and cars need their fuel, so does Ethereum. For this particular digital asset, its energy source is called Ethereum gas. What is Ethereum gas? Gas is essentially the cost or fees for making transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. The tricky part, however, is that Ethereum gas prices aren't fixed. The amount of gas required for each transaction depends on how complex the exchange is. For example, a simple transfer could cost you 21,000 gas. It's the minimum requirement for every transaction. On the other hand, a more complicated one, such as one that uh, used in decentralized finance, could set you back 1 million gas. Each unit of gas has a price denoted in gigaway or noweth. A gway equals 1 billion way, which is the smallest Ethereum unit base. What is the role of gas in Ethereum blockchain? Essentially, uh, gas is used by the Ethereum virtual machine, the digital mechanism behind the cryptocurrency, so that decentralized applications can run and self-execute smart contracts in a secure and decentralized fashion. They are your way of compensating miners who use their computational power to process and validate your transactions. Let's cast a more in-depth look at how it all works. What does the ETH gas system exist? The concept of gas was introduced so that Ethereum networks could distinguish the computational costs from other expenses. By having a separate unit for this purpose, a practical distinction is created between the computational costs of the EVM and ETH actual valuation. Other than that, there is one main reason that this system exists incentivization. We have to remember that Ethereum is still using the proof-of-work system, which means that they heavily depend on the hash rate of their miners. The more miners there are, the higher the hash rate. The higher the hash rate, the more efficient and secure the system is. To attract more miners into the system, developers have to ensure that Ethereum mining is as profitable and as alluring as it can be. On the Ethereum blockchain, there are two ways miners make money. The first is pretty simple mining blocks and getting block rewards. The second way is by controlling the block and ensuring that transactions are put in. This is where the gas system comes in. To put transactions in the block, miners have to use their computational power to validate smart contracts, which they can charge for. Essentially, this is the miner's fee, and it motivates miners to actively participate in the Ethereum ecosystem. Why is gas fees fluctuate? In the most case, Ethereum gas and fees are mainly determined by the supply and demand between the network's miners. This means that they can decline a transaction if the gas price doesn't meet their standards. It also means that the cost of gas fluctuates with the supply and demand for processing power. This is where the Ethereum gas limit comes in. Gas limit refers to how much you are willing to spend on a transaction. Setting a higher gas limit lets you tell the Ethereum miners that there is more work to do for a transaction. At the same time, miners can ignore your transaction if you set the gas limit too low. Let's put it into real-world example. Running your car for X miles will require Y gallons of fuel. In the same breeze, transferring X amount of money from your bank account to a friend may cost you Y dollars in processing fees. 
In both cases, x is the utility value and y indicates the cost of performing the process. The same works for blockchain. Ethereum miners are then rewarded with this particular fee in return for their computational service. Now, the most intriguing question is, when is the best time for an Ethereum transaction? I know, you are looking to save money on your Ethereum transactions, I'm absolutely sure. We all do. Well, you're in luck. We studied Ethereum guest charts and found the best time to transact. Click, pause, and look at the screen. The busiest time and therefore the most expensive times are from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern time. This comes as no surprise because Europe and the US are fully awake and at work during this period. By contrast, the least busy time is between midnight to 4 a.m., the time the people in the US are asleep, Europe is just about to start their day, while Asia is finishing up their work day. This means that the best time to make an ETH transaction, therefore, is on a Saturday or Sunday. That's when guest prices are at their lowest. On the other hand, the worst time are on Tuesdays and Thursdays, when the network is at its busiest and guest prices are at their highest. Once again, write it down, guys. The best time for making cheap Ethereum transaction is Sunday, 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. Monday, 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. Tuesday, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. to hours. Wednesday, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Thursday, 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Friday, 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. And Saturday, 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. All this data means that if you hold off a bit on your transactions or send lowest fees for low priority transaction, knowing that they'll be confirmed in a few hours, you could save some gas in the process. With the price spikes of Ethereum and accordingly its fees, it might be worth looking into how you could save some gas. Find the best times to buy Ethereum and then plan them accordingly. Who knows? It could save you a lot of money. You may wonder, why are blockchain transactions so expensive at all? There is a simple explanation. Why are ETH gas prices so high? There are a couple of reasons why gas fees get so high. Mainly, gas prices increase when the network gets congested. However, one other possible reason gas is gas prices can get up is the whale's wallet that holders over 20 is around 65,000 USD at the time of writing. By looking at charts at the points when both spikes coincide, it can be correlated that the fees increase when these whales make transactions. Although we cannot be certain that they are the main reason why prices surge, it can be dedicated that they plan a significant role. Smart contracts are automated and self-executing contracts that can help you exchange property, money, or anything of value in a way that's transparent and conflict-free without the need of a middleman. Will the problem of highest fees last forever? Let me explain something. Ethereum gas problem. As unique as it is to Ethereum gas fees raise a couple of concerns for its users. Despite how high fees can get, it's a standard feature of the Ethereum network. Granted, there are extra steps one can take to avoid these high fees, but it will require a lot of education and patience. The high gas fees affect many great things on the ETH network, ERC20 token purchases, micropayments, NFT markets, and even more. To put this into a real-world example, let's say that you are looking to get yourself an NFT that will send you back around 100 USD. Would you be able to justify that purchase if the gas fees are just inexpensive at the actual NFT? In this case, you'd probably think twice and possibly try to save on fees. Given that gas fees are becoming a problem on the ETH network, what could possibly solve it? One solution could be to add a layer 2 solution. Digital ledgers like Bitcoin and Ethereum are inherently flawed in that transaction tend to slow down the more people use them. Adding a layer 2 solution on top of the Ethereum network could take transaction data of Ethereum, compress it and publish it onto the blockchain for a fraction of the time and cost. That's it for today. Now you know when to make non-expensive Ethereum transactions. Meanwhile, we are preparing more useful information and materials to guide you through the crypto industry. Don't miss them. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and the bell icon to turn all notifications and see you.